show you how to read the vernier cross slide scale. If you've never read a vernier scale before, they're a little weird, but um, this is pretty simple. So what I want to show you here is <clears throat> along the top side, every one of these lines is 50 thousandths, okay? So 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, it goes like that, okay? So these are all, the value of, of, of the top lines are 50 each. The value of the bottom lines are 5 thousandths each. So, <clears throat> very simple, if I want to set an offset right now at 25 thousandths, this first line with the triangle on it, that is our zero. So, if this, if each one of these lines is 50 thousandths, if I want to set an offset at 25, I line up the next dot, that's 5, then I go to the next line, tw 10, 15, 20, 25. And that's going to line up this one here. So basically what you're doing, let's just say to make it simple, if that's 50, and these are lined up, because that's, that's what the value is, then we take this next one with the triangle on it to the next big line, that's 100. Okay, so the trick is to know how to do the numbers in between. So let's just do it again. So you'll notice that when our zero is lined up, we have zero offset here. The first line is already off. If we move it to the next line over, we are now offset five thousandths. If we line up the next line, we're now offset ten thousandths. If we go to the third line, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. That's twenty-five thousandths. So every time you move this over to the, to the next line that lines up, that's five thousandths. If you just remember, though, for a shortcut, you don't have to do what I just did, driving yourself crazy. If you need an offset of 120, you could line up this line here. That's 50, that's 100. The line with the triangle is your zero. So there's 100. Move it over one line, that's five. Two lines, 10. Third line, 15. Fourth line, 20. So every time one of these lines moves to the right, you're five thousandths. So I hope that makes sense to you. You have to practice with it a little bit, but you'll get it. I, I know you will. Um, again, right there is 100. If I go to the next line over, that's 105. Line up in the second line. 10, 20, I'm sorry, 15, 20, 25. You'll notice when we hit 25, it lines up with a, one of the top lines. So every 25 thousandths you're going to see the, the, uh, one of the major lines line up. So that's how you set the cross slide vernier. And then when you're all done, uh, there's a knob on the bottom of the machine that locks it. And that's it. So uh, I'm going to put a couple charts up there too so you can see it a little clearer. But I was very fortunate that my camera could focus in this tight and you could actually see how I set this.